All right. What's wrong with you, dude? Hey, before nothing's we, wrong with me, hey, bro. Before we start this, the podcast, this is Baja hey, Monday. Yep, Baja Monday. This is Baja Gracie yeah, Monday hey, right listen, now. Take What's the up? shirt off. Take the shirt off, though. Why? You don't train at Gracie. I, I'm, Baja. I'm taking this off only you because take, take it off. I'm not taking it off because you're telling me to. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> take it off and now. Listen, you know, oh, you know better to whiskey, wear that. You know better. And I want to eat some Korean noodles. Well, I'm drinking the seventeen age whiskey. Hold on, I'm going to drink the seventeen. Yep, sure. Take that jujitsu sweatshirt off. I'll take off my sweatshirt that I've earned. Never when I want to take it off. I trained. Take it off. I'm gonna take it off of you. (laughs) Uh, uh, What was that noise? Don't make that noise. uh, uh, (laughs) I will fucking. I almost got in a mix up with you yesterday because we had some mats, and I didn't want to do it in front of your friend. I don't care, about, bro. I went nose to nose. my new friend. I now. went nose to nose with you, motherfucker. Nose to nose. I had my shoes off, and you kept saying, "We're nose to nose." We are. We are. And your friend Jeff went, "You're definitely not nose to nose." Okay, but so you're you got me by a nose hair, and you're not six foot. I am fucking so close to six feet that you should just you're five ten. Courtesy, you're five ten. No, I'm not. Don't say Papa, that. You have a tape ten. measure? We do. All right, you ready? <laughs> yep. You want to do it with my shoes off? Sure. F- about time. Yeah, about, and we can do mine Let's too. Let's start this. We can do mine too. Yeah, I'd like to. Hey, take that sweatshirt off before we do anything though. I don't want you embarrassing them. I, I was literally going to take it off yep. because I'm hot. The only reason I'm taking this off. Take it off. The only reason I'm Whatever taking it off. Whatever excuse makes you feel better. Nope. Take it off. The only reason I'm taking it off is because I'm hot. Is there a big logo on the back? Yeah. Take it off. And I'll take it off when I want. And if you don't think that I flatten my neck out just a little bit when I walk by guys in this. I'm sure. Yeah. Because my neck. I've they probably my, think, I've oh, my a sign goes there. I've earned my neck. I can do, I can transition from a triangle to an arm bar to a, no, to a normal plata. Are you kidding can. me right now? You Are you can. serious? Not a blue belt. I am a blue belt. I'm a gra- I'm a oh, Henso Gracie. Oh really? Belt. How many years ago was that? I'm not in a fucking. I don't count to over twenty. Over twenty. Oh come years on, ago. dude! I do shit. Hey, twenty years no, 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 ago. No, that's ridiculous. You got a blue belt. That's a fucking disrespect. It's two thousand twenty. I trained with Henato Magno at street sports for a long time. When's, the, right? when's the last time you saw Henzo Gracie and rolled with him? The last time I rolled was literally th- two months ago. No, I'm saying with Henzo Gracie. Hansel. <laughs> Hansel? Just give me a year. Hansel is in my heart. Yep. I, I always you. carry me him too. in my heart. I do too. I love Henzo. Okay. So he's How long in my ago? heart. Just give me like estimate. I mean, t- are we talking telepathically? Because I watch his videos. I know. I hear you. Yeah. Physically. So I train. In his academy in I, I, I am a cyber student of Hansel Grace. Yes. I get that. Yeah. Last time you were there. Go. Last time I was at his studio? <laughs> Last time you were at the studio. Physically in the studio. If you had to guess. Matt Sarah may or may not have been a brown belt. Here's the thing. <laughs> 1990. Look, man, eight? it was probably 2000 or maybe 1999. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah, take it off. Don't fucking say that. Because yeah, I want to surf and turf, and I really do. You don't now, want to surf and turf. I really do. Now, or, cat, or who's going to measure I, you? I, I, I tweak my lower back on this left side, not afraid. Don't give a fuck anyway. I'll still go. This whiskey's so nice. <laughs> the whiskey actually calms me down, so you're lucky. You're lucky. Isn't that nice? We're gonna have another match. And we're gonna, ready, do bro. It, we're gonna do it in where we're in, in that space that Hey B, I know you see me on them trails, dude. Yeah, and everybody's like, trails. How are you going so fast all the time? You just started mountain biking. Yeah, that's right. Well, I got a secret. I Am mean I, you have endurance, you have endurance. Where do you get your endurance? Really what I want to ask. Dude, people go, Are you Lance Thick Strong? Right. Is that what's going on here? Lance Thick Strong. Is that what's going on? I know. Are you on EPO? And I go, <laughs> And they're like, well, you're not doing EPO. What could you be doing I'm to not, get that kind of dude, cardio? I'm doing beat elite uh-huh. before and after workouts, man. Uh-huh. Beat elite before my workout helps my endurance, improves my energy. Stam up promotes oxygen efficiency, which is what I need on them slopes. By the way, I don't care about any of that. It's delicious when you drink it. It's pretty it's tasty. Delicious. It's so Kool-Aid, though, you know? Yeah, And beat elite like is that. trusted by hundreds of professional teams and elite athletes, so you know you're getting top-notch performance. From Beat Elite, do what we do, man. Take your game to the next level, especially Thick Boy Bike Club members. With Beat Elite, by going to livehuman.com slash fighter. That's L-I-V-E, human.com slash fighter. I just did. 20% the off. The team at Human is making this offer exclusive to the TFATK Army. You won't find the deal like this anywhere else. That's live, H-U-M-A-N dot com slash fighter. Or live human. Live, yeah. Did I say live? Yeah. Dude. But it's the same, spelled the same way. Coming live. Coming live human or live Live human dot com, com slash fighter. fighter. Hey, B, how about yeah. you ship these nuts in your mouth? Um, I'm not going to do that, dude. But if you're going to do it, you better do it fast. Why? 
because well, there's one dude, way to do it. There's, there's, only, one there's way. only one way. You want it there? Shit Listen, day. whatever you're selling, whether you're sending nuts to your mom, whatever you're doing, you're selling stuff online. You got to get your orders out fast. Yeah. Use ShipStation, man. You need ShipStation.com. It's the fastest, easiest, most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. A few clicks. Dude, you're managing your orders, printing out labels. It gets orders out quickly. You save money on shipping costs, and you keep customers happy, okay? So it doesn't matter. No matter what, what, where you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, your own website, ShipStation brings all your orders into one simple interface, and making then, them really easy to manage from any device. Get this ready? Even your cell phone. Oh, dude, you nailed it, bro. Yeah. ShipStation works with all the major carriers, including USPS, FedEx, UPS, even Amazon, all right? No wonder ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. And right now, the Fire Kid listeners can try ShipStation free for 60 days when you use the code FIGHTER. Make sure your business is ready to meet the demands of delivery culture. Get started at ShipStation.com today. Tell them how to do it, Brian. Click the microphone at the top of the homepage and type FIGHTER. Fighter, that's shipstation.com, then offer code fighter, shipstation.com, make ship happen. You and I, yeah, you took there your are no, off we have there. access to mats. Yep, you took your sweatshirt and off. And I'm going to tell you this. You know, put it back you on. know better, Papa. I'll put it back on. Nope, because you'll be really hot if you do. Listen to me. Look at me. We're going to go takedowns sure. where I have room. Sure. <laughs> and I know you're going to do that stupid fucking double leg, but I see it coming. Nope, don't, won't do a double leg. Good. Oh, good luck then. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Hip toss me? Good fucking luck. Nope, single leg. Single leg on me? We dude, I'll clear this out right now if you keep talking shit and take you down. Listen to him. Listen to me. Listen dude, to I'm me. telling you, I don't have room to move here. We do. I have room and I'm bigger than but you. But I don't have room I'm to move. I'm gonna move this and I'm gonna take you down. I don't have room to move. Dude, I'm telling right. you, keep talking shit. So, it's gonna and, happen on Monday. What? It's gonna happen on Monday. What's gonna happen on Monday? And today's Monday, Papa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not afraid of, I this is I don't give a fuck Monday to me. Now listen. Listen up. Dude. We're going to measure me. Okay. We're going to measure me. All right. And then watch your- I, watch I need you to now watch, watch your, your movement. Cues. Watch your movement. I need you to watch your- Because right now, cues. right now, we're on turf. I know that. And if you keep this attitude up, we're going to get on surf. I don't know that you could- I don't- you, You're going to go You're going to go single leg? T tell me how you want me to take you down. Pick a takedown. You're going to go single leg on me? What would you like? I mean- You, you want gonna trip? Have, you are. You want, you want a trip? You're gonna you have inside your trip, hands outside trip? full. I know. Let's measure. And I you. know you're strong. Sure. Let's measure you and then see what happens. My single leg is as good as your single leg. My single leg defense, all bullshit aside, it it'll surprise you. Here's here's the thing, B. It's Monday. Yeah. It's Monday, and I have a little whiskey in me. I've had a full bag of candy. So here's the thing. You've had a full bag, and, of candy? and I have nicotine in my lip. Here's the thing, dude. So you're under the influence right now. Not really. We're going to move this table. I'll let you start with a th however deep you want to get on a single leg, and we'll see how it goes for you. Yeah. And then what are you going to do? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm not trying to get a single leg on you, Jack. Why not? You just said you were getting a single leg on me. Sure. Which I was trying to give you an which, advantage. Which? <laughs> All right. Well, okay, let's, hold let's on. measure you. I got to measure me. All right, let's Calm measure you and see what happens. Measure me. I am. I'm going to move the table. Why are you moving the table? Because I don't trust you. No, no, what, what are you going to try to do? What are you going to do? I, I don't want to wrestle right now. All right, then watch your mouth. <laughs> I already made you take your sweatshirt off. No, no, you did. I did. I took off my sweatshirt on my own. It's actually cold. And now. I don't like you with shoes now because you look way taller than you're supposed I'm to. I'm way taller than you. Because with your shoes off, we're... we're... Look at this. I, uh, hey, don't do notes. that. Here, here. Take your shoes off. No, here. No, I got to stand on this part. Watch this, Jack. You do it from the heel. I think so. Yeah, right? I'll do it. Now. Oh, here, come over here. <laughs> here, I'll stand up on this. No, no, then I can't reach that high. Okay. Here. Okay, just stand. Yeah, stand on that. There you go. Well, Dude, stand on that. <laughs> For the love of okay, God. Well, hold, on. Hold, hold, on. Like, hold on, let me get it. I had such arched athletic feet. Can't drop your heel, huh? Hold on. Let me get my fucking self going. You're you're right above or you're right at five eleven. I gotta be a little taller than that. You're not Papa. Hold on. Let's get you're, on the You're right you're right up look, I'm I'm gonna mark it right where you are. There you go. Five eleven and change. Five eleven and change. Five eleven and change. Far from six. 
Very fine. Oh, for so press. I got that's all it is. So seventy one inches. Yep, you're seventy one inches. See what seventy one inches. So, is. so you're about an inch off from six foot. Seventy one inches is right up. You're about five eleven and a half. Five eleven and a half. So a half inch away from six Sorry, feet. Papa. <laughs> Every one, bro. Oh, dude. <laughs> good? I'm good. Yeah, me too. I'm good. All right. You want to do the podcast when we get fucked up on Monday? Fucked up on Monday? This is I don't give a fuck Monday. It is. Oh, hold on. What's up, dude? Bro, I don't like the way you're fucking leaning I in. I don't like it either. You know? Just everybody everybody, calm the fuck down. We're Jim, good. Get your dad. <laughs> We're good, right? We're good. I'm going to sit. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Grab What's up, dude? wrist? I, I'm going to sit down. I'm move this table. Are we cool? Are we good? I'm good. I made you take your sweatshirt off. <laughs> All right. I don't, I'm not in the habit of getting pointed at. All right. Cool. Hey, hey, hey. Bring the, bring, bring the right, finger no down. No problem. Bring the finger down, Jack. <laughs> bring the finger down. Sorry, everybody. It's a little tense right now. It's just a little tense because we don't, we don't really fucking, the you know, things are. do it to you. We got some quarantine. I got my testosterone is. <laughs> Can you imagine when I go on test? What is going to happen to your face? What's going to happen to your hair? That's not cool. Dude. It makes you more bald. You know that? That's the problem. That's the other reason I don't want to go on testosterone. Yeah, I mean. But I get sore and it takes me a while to recover. I know. Testosterone can help with that, I think, right? I guess. So can human growth. So can fucking like Human Anavar. growth takes a while to work, I think. But also, testosterone in your hair. Just you know what the problem cares. with test and Anavar and human growth for a guy like Brian? What? You'd be You're awesome? Still a thin man. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be a thick Thick, shredded I don't think I'd be man. thicker. How many inches were you, Brian? 71. <laughs> five or nine? What? Yeah, that makes sense. No, no, no. Oh, you're no. Five, nine. No, hold on. You're 5'9. No, hey, I'm you're not. Tom Cruise. I'm not 5'9. I'm 5'11. You're, you're Tom Cruise. Let's see. Maybe you're 72? No. Nope. 70? Okay, you were 71 and then some, right? You're 71 and a half. There you go. No, that, no that's no. what it is, watch, dude. Watch, hey, dude, watch. those are numbers, Brian. Fucking. <laughs> Those are numbers. It's right here, fuck. I just got, I just got measured. By who? I'm 5'11". You're, you're not 5'11". You're 5'9". <laughs> you're Tom Cruise. Oh, you can't do it that way. That, that, that doesn't work that way. It takes up too much. It, it, it's, I literally got that's measured. fake. You have to do it from your heel, dude. Have, have Chin do it or Cat do it. Can't you can't do it yourself. You did it yourself, didn't you, Brian? No, I went to the doctor and I was an eight Were you inch. wearing shoes? No. Fake news. I can hold that down. Like you know what's disappointing is how hard it is for you to hold that down. I, I mean, just uh, just so you can pull it up, and then he'll put it back behind his feet. Yeah, just hold it. Okay. No, not in front. It has to be in the back. Just hold it in the back. From the front or side, it, it, it'll make him 6-1. Let's see. Now don't lift your head up, Brian. Keep Let's it straight. Go to the top. Hold on. Let me see. There's more room. Yeah, there's definitely more room. Oh, cat, you're going high. You're well, too that's high. That's where my head is. No, nope. it still goes higher. Yeah, Right, right there. Head. Right there. Right you guys there. Because look where my head is. Nope. Right there. I'm just telling you. I'll say that's a good uh, part around there. Okay, right here. Almost 71 inches. I told you. <laughs> I'm sure. I fucking no, told you. No way. 5'11. That's what it says. Look. Five, that's what that ruler says, but this. That's what it says, 5'11. A little yeah, bit over 5'11. Yeah, well, then there you go. You are definitely taller, dude. You're not 5'9. Five, You're 5'9. Five, nine. Five, You're 5'9. It says 5'11". I just measured myself officially at 5'11". 71.5 inches equals 5'9 and a half. That's cool. It's not a big deal. You're a small guy, dude. I'm not a small guy. You're a smaller <laughs> man. Guy. You're a smaller guy. I'm a big guy. Smaller guy. And that's why I can make you take off your sweatshirt. Dude. I have the heart of a lion. Sure. Sure. Yeah, and I'm 5'11 officially. That's a weird tape You're measure. small man. Get that fucking thing out of here. Yeah, I know. What doctor did you go to? And why'd you go to the doctor? You didn't go recently. They're not open. What is that? What is this? That's Korean this spicy chicken noodles. A lot of people do this online as a the chicken noodle, spicy chicken noodle challenge. What's and the challenge? It's super hot. It's very spicy. You made it, Kat? She uh, made it. Yeah, this is the bag of ramen that Chin brought last week. Guys, no disrespect. You know I love you, Kat. If I ate that... Uh, I would shit my pants. You Brian can handle would. spicy though, right? Yeah. Oh, dude, of course. Is it? Does it need to be warmed up or is it good? <laughs> no, you're good. All right, cool. Take that to the dome right now, B. Let's see. Straight to the dome. He just went all in. Yeah, suck it in. Suck it in. Then wash it down with whiskey. <laughs> Hold on. 
Hey, you know what you should do is chew into the mic. That's fun. Sounds good. Oh, you like it? Pop a like? Yeah. Pop a, fuck, but. Pop, oh. a, pop a love or no? Why is it so hot, Kat? What's in it? Uh, it's just the sauce that they put the in. The seasoning? Yeah, the seasoning. Super spicy. Mm -hmm. This is stuff you love, Chen? I love it, but it's so hard to get through for me. Because but I so love hot? it. Yeah, because it's Damn. so hot. It's tough for me. Very good. Try some, Bren. I, I, I'm, I'm just not in the space to try it. No, he's got nicotine. I got nicotine. I've had candy. I've had. Ooh, uh, Brian loves I've it. Had, this is my second Americano. Oh, it's nice. I've had whiskey. Very nice. I had ch uh, chicken tortilla soup. I'll tell you what happens to daddy. Hot sauce. Daddy doesn't get. Hey, when, hey daddy, wipe your lips. <laughs> when daddy. Your lips are red, daddy. When Papa. I'm going to um, give you some napkins. Thanks. When Papa eats bread. Daddy, your feet. <laughs> Oh, cool. You're Aquaman. <laughs> hey, Daddy, your feet. You're Aquaman. What about my feet, dude? I you're got you're feet. Aquaman. I got long toes. I can throw long, a fucking skinny. apple at you with my feet. Now, now, Daddy and me were playing dodgeball yesterday. Yeah. You're a little impressed with my arm. It's not bad. How about Steven's arm? My brother-in-law can fucking slang it. Can, well, he played college, Play college baseball. That guy could throw it. Those balls are not painful, but if he had hit you in the face with that speed... You'd be, you'd How about our boy Jeff hit my son in the face? <laughs> yeah. Right in the eye. Right in the eye. Tiger, and your son is Tiger's not happy. Just stamped his foot. He was not happy. No. And then he tackled Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> no. no socks. I feel that. Yeah. My my mouth is on fire. <laughs> is it that hot? <laughs> sure. My mouth is on fire, and um, but you'd never know it with me. I like how you just dug whiskey. into that though. Yeah. And then we're drinking the 17 year old whiskey. Bubble, I'll tell you something. At night is What's the up, problem. Daddy? When, at night I get lonely, I get a little anxious, and I start drinking. Yeah. And I eat start jacking cookies. Off I eat cookies. I eat ice cream sandwiches. I do shit I would never do. Because of quarantine? Yeah. Yeah, quarantine. And then I wake up a little anxious in the middle of the night. Really? How often do you wake up in the middle of the night? Very rare. Really? Very rare. Oh. Every now and then I do, but very rare. Do you have a if, set if, time? If, I, if I'm sleeping by myself and the kids are in the house, I constantly wake up just like... You do? Just worried all the time, yeah. Do you not eat uh, before you go to bed? When do you I stop eat at, eating? I, eat, uh, I usually eat... Uh, let's see, I put Tiger Bread at 7, so I eat around 7.30, and that's my last meal. Then I don't eat again until around 11 or 12. That's my problem is I'm eating too late. I'm Super eating late. at like 9. Yeah. It fucks me up. I wake up like, Ugh. especially at your age. You know, most uh, older men when they have heart attacks. Yeah. The the usually the common factors they had like a big like steak dinner. Is that true? Yeah. I a hundred percent believe that. Oh. Like they had a big dinner right before they had the heart attack. One hundred percent believe that because I wake up if I drank wine and ate a steak, I'm like sweating and my heart's beating hundred miles. Daddy has to be careful. Yeah. I'm getting older. Getting older. Pretty good at dodgeball though. Yeah. My my arm is okay. I can throw. I was I was was always able to throw kind of fast. I used to be able to throw way faster, and then since all the years my shoulder, yeah, tough. It was big. When well, no, I used to always be able to throw, but it's just yeah. my shoulders are tight, super tight. Yeah, super tight. You have tight shoulders. Did you uh, Did you watch that Jordan documentary last night? Not yet. You would love that. I know I would. That's why I'm wearing these. These, I'm are, the, these are the Jordan ones. You what did you get? Fuck. What 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 um, What did you get from it? You, you forget how like, great Jordan yeah. was. Like okay. Michael, Michael, uh, uh, Magic Johnson posted, uh, I think he did, and everybody posted this, he goes, uh, he goes, it's good for the younger generation to see how great Michael Jordan was. Why he's the best player of all time. Where the bar Because you forget. Yeah. You're like, oh my God. Yeah. Oh. Just ridiculous. Then the debate this morning on uh, first take and on uh, wake up is, uh, you know, who's better, LeBron James or Jordan? What would you say? I, I think it i think it all depends where you like what uh generation you grew up in you know it was jordan in my house well i would say the, the way to ask the question is it's a weird question because it's different you're who talking would about, you rather have on your team if you had to choose jordan. that might be the one jordan, jordan. but but it's, it's it's tough though because no one can really guard jordan i'm sorry no, no one can guard jordan no one can guard lebron and then it's like jordan was more clutch who makes their team better that's really might be the question you know what the no, thing is with Jordan? Jordan said this about the documentary. He goes, the thing about this documentary is once it's all out, everyone watches it. Um, he goes, uh, people are going to think I'm an asshole. Because he's notoriously known for being an asshole. Like yeah. he punched Steve Kerr in the face, who was a teammate, because he wasn't playing right. He did? Punched him in the face. What? 
he, he was just very difficult. And they, they have him on there, like, talking shit to teammates during practice. He was just, he expected a lot. He was like, yep. Kobe, Kobe's the same way. Yep. This is the exact, yep. like, Dwight Howard. That's why Kobe hated Dwight Howard, because he had all this potential, but he was lazy. Yep. So they hate them. They have these resentments against them. So Jordan was very similar. So he came out and goes, the problem with this documentary is people are going to find out I was an asshole. Wow. Yeah. And he, he's notorious. If you know anything about Jordan, I've, I've notoriously heard. known for being yes. a well, giant asshole. I mean, all due respect, his Hall of Fame speech was oh, yeah. tough. You know, it was like, oof, man, this guy doesn't forget any slight. And that's he, why. That, that's why. Like when they're they're going back on like eighty five. You're talking about eighty four, eighty five. They're talking about games, high school games, college games. You would, uh, and, I, and, he, and he was going through his first and second year in the NBA, and then ninety seven, ninety six is uh, time in the NBA. I'm, I don't know. I'm assuming they're going, hey, do you remember this, this, and they're refreshing his memory? Because there's no way he remembers those details like that. <laughs> and he does. If you ask, I don't know if he does. Oh. That's what I'm saying. I wonder if he has help. Because if you ask me about my career and you go back through camps and <laughs> sparring this, you're like, fuck, dude. It'd be right. tough to follow all that like he follows. I would say you're a little bit different only because I feel like you in sports, as good as you were and as dedicated as you were, your mentality has always been once it's over, you're moving on to the next oh, thing. Yeah. And, and more than almost anybody I know. Yeah, I don't hone on. So it's not that, you know, like, it's not, I know you love the people you train with. You just don't keep in touch with people from your past because it, it, you're just so focused on the future. Under the next, yeah. And, and so I'm a little bit like that too. My yeah. past, like my friend one time said, I know nothing about your childhood. Well, I don't really talk about it because it doesn't matter. Mm. I'm, I'm too busy thinking about what's next that's good and it's bad it is what it is i don't know i don't know what it is but well like my brother reminded me of stuff like uh last night right when we got done playing at that place i get in the car i look at my phone because i didn't look at my phone all day i got my phone it's this i have a a, a notice from nike saying they dropped these jordans because of the dock the jordan fives mm -hmm. and my brother goes remember these are the first jordans we ever had mom bought them for us and I, and then all the mem like if oh, someone wow. just does yes. that then yeah. all the members go yep but I if, do that sometimes. But I looked at them. I was like, "Oh, I, I remember." Like I remember going, "Oh, I remember I had those." But then I don't remember all the details. And Jay was telling me about. It. I'm like, "Holy fuck, I remember that." Yeah, yeah. And until, until somebody reminds you of that stuff, it's true. Is that you guys? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's you. That was on the front cover of Denver Post. Wait, is that your dad? Yep. Also known and as your mom Saddam was Hussein. such a. <laughs> Apparently, my dad was the your, ruler of my dad was your mom was such a dime piece. That's it's my crazy. stepmom. Okay. She was beautiful. My mom listens to the show. She will fuck you up. Your mom is beautiful, you but, that, mom but your mom, stepmom is a dime piece. Dime piece. Look at my dad, though. Jay, Ruler Jay, of Iraq. Jay was, Jay was David Blaine, and then you... <laughs> well, well, hold on. Jay was old long neck with the dirt mustache. He sure was long neck. He was much bigger than you. He oh, beat he's the always, fuck out oh, of you. Oh, dude. Oh, and then you grew. How I, old I was you always there? small. Uh, I don't know. Not that old. What a great dad your dad was, though. Beast of a dad. Great dad. He's a great guy. He couldn't look more... He is Saddam Hussein in that picture. <laughs> he's a giant, it looks so different. He's a giant Iraqi. So I, 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 you were raised the, by an Iraqi. One of the comments said, "One of the comments said, hey, how many bullets did your dad dodge being the double body for uh, Saddam Hussein?'" I mean, one hundred percent. He is. I bet you, your dad. You did your genome. You don't have any Arabic. No zero. Wow. How dare you? Wow. Italian. That's Italian. English. Man. German. That's an Italian man. And apparently, he's from Iran. So that's cool. <laughs> he's from he's Iranian. <laughs> he's from Iran. You're you're Iranian and 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 Lebanese. And Your father apparently looks my very stepmom was Shania Twain. So that's cool. <laughs> uh, that's right. And and, and and Jay's Pete Davidson. So we're doing well. We're all doing well. When did Papa now Jay Jay Jay's neck shrunk? We know this, right? Jay doesn't have a neck anymore. So I don't know what happened. That's a long. That's a Brian Callen neck. That's a long neck. Well, that's longer than your neck. It's longer than my neck. That's the longest. Neck. That's a human giraffe right there. And he went from giraffe uh -huh. to, to rhino. Now, how did that happen? Let's go ahead and look at his neck now. Look at him now. Yeah. First team all thick. He's, he's first team all thick. He's a thick boy. Um, wow. He's obsessed with Now, racing. when did Papa shave his mustache? Because oh, that's a man. He, he, he had it since I was forever. And I remember, I think I was in high school. He, I mean, he's had a mustache. And she well, he's a '70s school. guy. He probably, he oh, probably he married that to some bell off. bottoms. Oh, dude! Wow. Was so his shirt I remember. I remember when he shaved it. I was, uh, he, I was so disappointed. I was like sad because I grew up with him in a mustache. Two hundred twenty pounds. Looks like about two twenty and trim. Two fifteen trim, trim in way better shape than Always me. Always stayed works in out, shape. Works out every single day. Yeah. 
Yeah. Every single day. Yeah, he's he's a stud. Stud. Uh, what was his sport? Uh, he did a little bit of everything. Football. Yeah. He lost his finger. Makes it tough. He lost his finger. You ever see my dad? My papa's like this. Oh, I'm, uh, he's missing uh, this one. No, but I'll bring it up the next time I see him. Do it. My son does it. Don't he, you know, he's a four-year-old. How did he lose his finger? Uh, was he in the mafia? The Japanese? Yakuza? <laughs> Yakuza. He was uh, smart at the time. He was uh, Denver, Colorado. Was uh, snow blowing the uh, driveway. Yep. And he got stuck. It froze the ice. And he yeah, forgot yeah, to turn yeah. off. Went, oh, let me unstick it. Put his mm -hmm. hand in there. Yeah. So it chopped off three of them. They salvaged two of the three. Wow. So I grew up with my papa like this. Wow. Now. And then every time my son sees him, he goes, he goes, Grandpa, Grandpa Peter. He calls him Grandpa Peter. You know, he has like four grandpas. He goes, Grandpa Peter, you don't have a finger. Every time he sees him, remind him so he doesn't cute. have a finger. Yeah. My papa's like this. Your son is, uh, he's about the size of the average 14-year-old now, and that's because his <laughs> hands are, I couldn't believe how big his hands were. I know, his hands and I feet. said it three times. I was like, look at his hands. You. How about, how about yesterday at, yesterday at the, the place we were playing? My son's potty train, right? He doesn't wear diapers anymore. He's great at it. We've had no accidents. He doesn't pee the bed, doesn't pee his pants, nothing. Goes to bed, poop, pee, it, no problems. So Yesterday, cute. he's playing all day, three hours, running, sweating, drenched with sweat. I see him go to the bathroom. I, in my head, I'm like, I should probably go in there. I'm like, yeah, he's good. I'm talking to someone. I think I was talking to you or our other buddy. So he goes in. I'm like, he got this. And then five, ten minutes later, he sticks out. He goes, Papa. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I walk in. I go, what, dude? And he looks around. And he, goes, he goes, Papa. I had to pee so bad, and I, I peed a little bit on my under on my underwear. I go, okay. And he goes, I don't want the girls to know. He goes, I'm Aww. embarrassed. I don't want the girls to know. Can you I, imagine at four years old, he's already, he already so. understands He goes, I'm embarrassed. Because there's, to know two, that about there's children. two girls there, and one he's obsessed with. And they're and older. They're, they're like old, 12. They're 12. Oh. And he goes, Papa, I'm embarrassed. I don't want the girls to know. I go, watch this, dude. I go, did you pee on your pants? He goes, no. I go, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take your underwear. I'm going to put it in my pocket. We're going to put your pants back on. And then they'll never know. Don't say anything. He goes, you don't say anything? Goes, I won't say anything. He goes, okay, I go first and you go later. I go, you go first and then I'll go later. <laughs> Think about that. You got to remember so when you cute. have children that, that they get embarrassed and you have to be really careful of not embarrassed and embarrassing. I make sure. And I, I would forget with my kids. And my, um, my the mother, Amanda, would always say, hey, you're embarrassing her. Mm -hmm. You're embarrassing her. It's I didn't the worst know. Thing you I, would, I would scold them in front of people it's and it's embarrassing Yeah. Then. Because, but then it becomes, then they it, it becomes issues do. for them, and then it pa it rears its head. I remember being life. embarrassed. Is there, is there anything worse than the feeling of embarrassment? You know, I, and it's well documented. I have body morphia issues, I, and I remember when my, my dad bought that Neapolitan ice cream, mm. and it was uh, it was uh, strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla, and I hated the chocolate, and I loved the strawberry. I remember I ate all the strawberry, and I was chilling on the couch, like you know, my dad was you know he worked nine to worked his ass off, came home probably was fiending for some strawberry ice, ice cream goes in there and he goes bren because i was always the ice cream kid and he goes bren and i'm like lay, i'm laying on the couch you know like this watching probably fucking i don't know Born, animaniacs Born, or some yeah. shit and, and he he goes you ate all the ice cream i go i only ate the strawberry and he goes god you fat pig <laughs> but uh, not, not like mean was yeah. like god you fat pig but no, I, it sounds worse than I'm saying. Yeah, that he loud. was just saying. He's like, it God, like, you fat pig. Like, yeah. God damn, dude. And then walked off. Yeah. Oh, dude. Really? Oh. Tattooed on the heart. Zzz. Fat pig. Yeah. Certain, you got to be careful, certainly. Like yeah, that especially being called a fat pig. <laughs> yeah, it was tough. <laughs> fat pig is kind of rough. Oh, I know. I was like, hmm, I would never say that to my kid. <laughs> <laughs> my sister. So remember, there's that. When we, when we, were, in, uh, we were in Mykonos. And this Italian girl, or she may have been French, she said, my sister, we were all dancing, and, and we kind of got on a bump a scuff. I'd love to see scuff, your sister dance. Bump a scuff with this other group of Italian kids. And the woman called my sister a pig. God, nothing worse. And my sister, who's fucking Teflon, <laughs> my sister goes, what'd she call me? And my buddy Ray goes, she called you a pig. Your sister's tough. And my man. sister goes, well, tell her that this pig is going to punch her right in the face. Fuck <laughs> sake. Because that's just American style. Yeah. And they were European. They'd never, they were like, like Jesus what? Christ. I was like, and tell her her brother will punch the guys in the face. <laughs> we're ready to fucking go. Right. What's wrong with us? I was us? like, the pig's brother will punch them in the hey, face. Hey, the pigs will fuck you guys up, yeah. just so you know. We're pigs and we'll fucking. These American pigs yeah. will bring it. We'll bring it, you <laughs> fucking. Isn't it weird though? Certain stuff, man. It just oh, it fuck, stays dude. with you. Right, for me, the, the, the have I, maybe I've never talked. The, the time when we got molested. The tat now, the tattoo on my heart was there was this kid Ronnie who was muscular. I always knew he in a T-shirt he had 
a chest and stomach muscles, just thick kid. And I, um, I remember my girlfriend and her sisters talking about how sexy, sexy he was in a t-shirt and how it ripples. And I was there and I was like, you don't have that dude. And my girlfriend, I was like, first of all, I was like, girls find muscles sexy. Didn't know that I didn't. I was too young. I was 14 or yeah. 13. Really? Wow. Didn't dawn on yeah. me. Well, remember, I didn't have muscles, so girls like me, yeah. but they like me for something else. Yeah. So I was like, You're huge guy. I was like, oh no, I, I don't have, I don't ripple under a t-shirt. No. I'm skinny. It's not for you. That was the worst. For I you. never forgot it though. Those certain things that like fucking it. burn into your you fucking brain. It. Now, now, take care of myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now I'll go turf, I'll go surf, whatever it takes. <laughs> still not you know what I mean? Still not Do you know ripping. what I'm saying? <laughs> still a coat and, hanger and, and a shirt. And now, and now I'm still now a coat strong hanger in a shirt. And and send you like a parkour athlete. Do you know what I'm saying? You guys know what the fuck I'm saying. Certain things aren't for us, are they? <laughs> You're never gonna ripple and I'm never gonna be skinny. Be quiet, you fat pig. <laughs> 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 fat pig you fat pig i would never why don't you eat some more why don't you fucking eat noodles you fat pig and drink some more whiskey <laughs> fat pig that's a rough one well you think about how girls feel how awful they feel about you know when when oh this girl boys. american idol broke my heart she didn't make the top 20 but she she was kind of you know she's not the cute thick she was thick and had like a chubby face sure. she's a mexican girl can sing sing and they go well, what the fuck? Like she's singing, they go, and she goes, "This is my first time ever singing in public or live," and she has a amaze blew the place apart. Katy Perry goes, "This is the first time singing," and she goes, "Yeah." And she goes, "Why don't? Why aren't you posting videos and singing on YouTube? Or why don't you go to places singing?" She goes, "It breaks my heart." She goes, "Because I don't look like the other girls." Oh, dude, that's all you got to say. Oh, all you got to say is because I, like, I don't look like oh, the other girls. Oh, in a movie, you you start crying for. Them. Oh man. Yeah, I got choked up. Why? I was like, "Oh, this poor girl." You, Mary, I don't know if you remember the movie. Is that my? If that was my daughter, if you you just put some confidence in that big bitch, yeah. that pig will sing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you do you remember? Do you remember the movie Monster with Charlize Theron? She went up. Do yeah. I ever? She Me and my shit. girlfriend are watching it, and it's a true story, by the way. It's a true story. Female serial remember, killer. Remember Patty Jenkins? Patty Jenkins. Director. Yep. She won an Oscar for it, right? Yes, and well, Charlize did, and she was nominated, but. I, I watched that, and there's a moment where Charlize in the movie says, "I've been alone since I was 13," or something like that, or I, I, I you know, and I, we both started crying. We both went like this. We both are both are. I looked over. I said, uh, "We just started going." We both, you know, some things like just one little thing can fucking. Yeah, I didn't get that you. in the serial killer movie. I was like, "Oh, kill her," but I feel you. Oh fuck, I did, man. I did because I knew her backstory. I knew the real life. See, I didn't know it. I, yeah. I knew it. At, so I watched the movie and then I did my research on it. Yeah. God, man, heartbreak. She had a yes. rough go. Oh my God. She had a rough go and she, you know, she was so, she was like raped and she oh was beaten God. by these Johns and 13 then years old fighting back. Tricks. Started 13, fighting back. Yeah, 13 years old. And then just straight up killing people because she needed the money and just struggled. So, so, so Patty and Charlize Theron read, I think it was some crazy number, like 10,000 letters that Eileen wrote to her girlfriend from death row. And they read every one of those letters. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yes, and that's that's how they did the research for the role. And Amazing. Everything. I mean, and then Charlize Theron put on. I think she had forty pounds. Oh, to me, to me, the greatest. I'm telling you, I, it's I, one of the greatest performances uh, of all time. Hundred percent. She's a fat pig in that. She blew my mind. She, she looked terrible. She had she had she had fucking. Uh, She's she, so good in that. I man. know, and they put uh, contacts in, and she would do this thing with her hair, which was she. She was just incredible. Oh, she was so good in that. And look yeah. how well she looks, just like her. Oh my god! That's her, the real one on the left. That's her in the middle. Yeah, she's so good in that. She's incredible. I'm gonna watch that movie tonight. Yep, <laughs> dude. Hey, fat pig. I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> and that, I gotta be something else. I'm skinny. What? You know. I don't know. Fat pig's fun. It's hard to make fun of skinny people. Yeah, it's true. I'm pretty shredded. What were you gonna it's say? Not shredded. <laughs> I got a good body though. What were you gonna say? Uh, oh, you would love this show. I started watching it. It's called uh, Kings of Pain. Is that what it's called, Jim? Yeah, yeah. Kings of Pain. It's on History Channel. These two bros, these two animal experts, go around the world to find the, the toughest sting or bite. Listen to what these fucks oh, do. We've seen this already. We haven't, though. Our boy, what's his name? Coyote Peterson. Mm, different level. These Why? boys get a anaconda, they get a bow constrictor, put on a, a, like a thing so it doesn't bite their necks, and they, they caught, caught, caught this bow constrictor in the wild. 
They let um, it fucking because it's never been recorded. What a boa constrictor can do a human with their bite, and they're doing a scale one through thirty, dude. Hey, fat pig, <laughs> yeah. dude. This fucking snake, yeah, shreds their fucking arms. Yeah, because their teeth go backwards. Oh, it bites it, and they can't get it off. And they have alcohol to dump in the snake's mouth to let go. Whoa. The snake doesn't let go. You have to have all these stitches. Look at that. They have a monitor. Lizard bites them. Centipede bites them, too. See, different level than what our boy Coyote Peterson does. They have uh, the destroyer wasp. They have the bullet. They have all anything. You know that big centipede? Yeah. Oh, dude. And one, one of the guys <gasps> gets bit, and he, he like passes out. What? They, they have medics. It's crazy. The it's fucking, such a good show. That fucking uh, dude, centipede when, when that, when that snake When that fucking snake bites them... And you can tell how nervous they are, and they decide who goes first. Oh, so they both have to do it. Oh, dude! Yikes! Yeah, look at his arm there with the stitches. Sc scroll down. Look at that shit. Oh my god! What is that? Now? I think it's someone else's, but these are Nuts, still dude. bad. Oof! Look at that picture on the far left, Jen. Look at that fucking. Bite. I've been bit by a no down where it's biting him. Yeah. Far I've left. Been, far left. Yeah, where the snake's this biting one? the arm. Look at that, dude. I've been bit by a python. That's not true. It is. I used to have a Burmese python. A little ball python. python? No, Burmese. Not like that. One. Hey, not hey. Eh, it's about that big. Fat pig. Never happened. <laughs> not that big. <laughs> that pig. I had the fucking scars. Nope, no scars. Shit. And I was thinking how much, so the centipede, they got bit by this destroyer wasp, they got bit by scorpions, the monitor lizard, and I thought, I wonder how much these boys are making. I couldn't find their salary, but it can't be much. No. You couldn't pay me. Well, they're trying to make a name for themselves. Is it a YouTube or is it a show? It's a show. On History. History channel. Oh, okay. But they're both they're both good dudes, man. They're fun yeah. to watch. Yeah. Pretty wild. What's next though? Where well, that's a, go? They, that, that they go, a lion. Well, I lost my arm. You know, I wanted <laughs> I wanted him to get bit by a rattlesnake. And that's not good because a rattlesnake can do, do permanent nerve damage, so you can't use your arm anymore. You want the show or not, dude? You want ratings or not, fat pig? <laughs> I don't know. Listen, you can die from a pit viper. You can die from uh, from some of these other ones. Yeah, you fat pig. I know. But listen, <laughs> you don't. Yeah, it's different when you say it to me, dude. <laughs> I call you fat pig. Did that hurt your heart a little? No. Did your heart go? <laughs> uh-uh. Doesn't bother me anymore. My skin's thick. Now, if my dad called me now, I went, what's I told you when I was in the pool, you know, my house has a pool, Rich. And well, we're in the pool, my full-size Olympic pool, at hot tub, basketball court. Right, Anyways, on. full court. And right, so yeah. we're in the pool, and my dad goes, just looks and goes, you still working out? I was like, oh. <gasps> a lot, dad. I went, you know I am. He goes, huh. And then just went and played with my son. Like, swam off. That's so Slow mean. Huh. Oh, fuck, man. I know. That was like two months ago. <clears throat> I've been working out more than I've ever worked out, and I don't. nothing grows, nothing gets well, what stronger. Me neither. I mean, dude, I, I, read, I rode 10 miles on my fucking bike. This yeah. Thick Boys Bike Club. Wow. It's a movement. Yep. Worldwide. Movement. You're yeah. welcome. Movement can't be part of it. Movement. Don't, don't say can't be movement. Part of it. It's making me mad. Hey, worldwide. Don't say worldwide. Movement. World, Mr. Worldwide. No, no, hey, don't movement. Say that. All right, fine. Movement. Okay, all right. It's all over the Thick place. boy, by And we're riding in every city. Down. It's a huge movement. Right. It's insane. Okay, we have all right. jerseys and stickers all right. and water Congrats, bottles. Congrats, everybody. You guys are in a it's bike great. group. You're in a there's, fucking bike group. There's so many of us. Oh, look at you responding. Man, I'm getting sick of you biking. Well, you're posting a fucking picture of your stupid bike, dude stupid you think the specialized stump jumper stupid hey, what you is fat that pig what is that hey, you fat fucking pig go to the next picture how are your Switch balls it. on that stupid little seat oh, what's that's up a bro dude look at your face <laughs> look at me dude man you got all you got a lot of meat on your face go, Jack. i do have a lot of meat that's fat a lot of pig. meat go to the next one your lips dude basically 10 miles Look at the L hey max speed, you fat pig. <laughs> That's forty miles an hour. All right, but listen, thirty nine to be exact. Listen, listen, daddy's moving. I know, but like it's a movement. <laughs> it's a movement. It's so annoying. Do you want me to be part of it? You can't. Hey, ask me. Again. You're looking at the. I'm the. I'm the. I'm the okay, leader I'm of the chapter. Ask you and don't be shitty. Let me I'm ask. I'm not you. gonna be shitty. Okay, don't be shitty. Brandon. Give me your best pitch to get in. First of all, hey, I'm, let me just ask you this: Do we have a couple requirements? Yeah. Do you have a mountain bike? No, I don't. Now, hold on. Hold on. Not looking good. I want to buy a stump jumper. <laughs> you want a specialized stump jumper? Now, I would now your boy's 61. I, I, 61. That, that's extra large now. They're not giving that away, right? Expensive or not too bad? Well, I, well, I, don't, I don't know what your budget is. <laughs> what would be a good... What is a good mountain bike cost? A stump jumper. Like uh, 400 bucks? Bring that do up. You, do you not want to get in the club? 
Hold on. Is that what you're doing? Four hundred dollars. Hold on. Your bike's gonna fall apart at four hundred dollars. Let me see what the spe- That's expensive. You think this is a game, Papa? <laughs> okay, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Do you think I can be the leader of the Thick Boys? Look, let me get, bike club. Let me get a let the me California get a, chapter. And you think we have a four hundred dollar bike? All right, let bike? me get a starter bike. Let go get myself a little. Go to special. Bike. Get a starter one. Uh, do they, let me get a regular mountain bike, and then let I, me. I'm, I'm get, eight, let I, me join the eight hundred dollars. I'll start. I'll start lifting and start w- working out. I'll eat more. Let me be in the thick. How, boy. how are you on a bike? How are you up hills? I'm an athlete, dude. I'm not asking that. I got the heart of a lion. Not asking that. How am I up hills? Yes. Cross country trail. I downhill. got some strong legs. Uh, I wouldn't worry about me. Did you go to mountain? Yeah. These do trail. I wouldn't worry about me. I can, I'll hang. I'll hang. That's a video. Of there me there right we now. go. Scroll down. Hold on. Don't go to stump jumpers. Too is too advanced for Brian. Uh, you know what I like for Brian? Oh God, I wish. Do the rock hopper. <laughs> <laughs> now scroll down. This is stupid. And how much is the rock hopper for the old man? Just maybe just type in specialized rock hopper because this is just the Here. website. Oh, it's, you can shop it. Yeah. Now I'm gonna take you to Wheel World where I got mine. Wheel, Wheel World. World. Wheel World. All right. It's so not I'm, bad. I'm, oh, I'm in business. I'm in business. Dude, between five dude, and seven hundred bucks, we're in business. Five fifty, we can get you on the mountain. That's All right. gonna be a rough ride. Where I go, yeah, it's gonna be a rough ride for you. Rough ride, rough ride. We got some up. rocks and hills. Fat pig, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a little rocky. <laughs> now, there's a pink one. <laughs> well, that's not pink. Maybe it's I'll a, get thick boy. Color. Maybe I'll get thick boy on my fucking bike. No. What? What I'm asking, dude? You're barking up the tree, and you're getting a fat pig and come down. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> You keep talking this shit, dude. Hold on, man. There's a lot of thick boys out there. I and understand. We're, hey, and we're pretty united. <laughs> and I don't like the way you are right now. Man, dude. I'm just saying, I wanna let me let me buck in here. You can buck in. Yeah. You can buck in. Hey guys, what you up to? Let me hey guys. I'll wear my thick boy sweatshirt. What's going on? Now we, we have now we have thick boy bike club stickers coming out that you can put on your bike. Now keep this in mind. Now I'm gonna charge you extra because you're not thick. 30% surgery. Now hold on. Keep this in mind, Jack. You guys are all thick. You calling Jack Smith? I'm thick? built for mountain biking. So if I if I pull ahead, it's going to be humiliating. If I leave the thick pack behind, if I if I'm trailing a bunch of fat, here's the thing. Here's the thing, fat pig. If I'm like, come on, fat pigs. <laughs> oh, okay. I wouldn't say. I'm just saying. I mean, thick boys. Dude, I oh, I want to build my bike. So you see that, fat pig? You see that? <laughs> Those are electric bikes. That's a go 13. to that one for thirteen grand. Now, am I eventually going to get that? Yeah, I am, Brandon. Now, hold on, Brandon. Why are you going to get an electric it's bike? It's an electric bike. You can go further. Oh, Take it easy. See, this is the problem with you. You get all crazy Wait, over that's fucking That's the GT2 things. RS of bikes. That's <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> so annoying. You're going to do it, aren't you? I know you're going to get that. Oh, dude, an S-Works? The, and, uh, the Turbo Levo SL? You're going to... With that, but doesn't chain? that defeat that the purpose? That doesn't make your dick hard? I don't know. Doesn't that defeat the purpose? <laughs> that doesn't make you rock hard, Papa? I, not really, dude, because I don't know why. Doesn't it defeat the purpose hey, of... You're out. Now, hold on. You can't just dismiss me. Now, now How's the now, shock oh on my, that oh, bad boy? That thing is fucking sick. Dude, okay. that bike frustrates me. But Here's I know, the thing. But, dude, Papa, yeah. so when I'm going up the mountain the yeah. other day, yeah. I'm 10 miles in, Yeah. it's exhausting. Yeah. Fun's going downhill. Yeah. Now my legs get a little tired. Sometimes my fat ass, my thick ass, this yeah. fat pig has to jump <laughs> off the bike and walk up the hill. Oh boy! Because I can't bike up. Okay. It's so steep. Yeah. But if Papa has some help, now you go. I can stay on the bike and cruise up, oh, and I can go farther and farther and farther. Uh, so instead of ten miles, I'm doing 30, 40 miles. Yeah. So I'm burning more calories. Oh yeah. I like the bike. Hey, I don't think you're gonna get a workout in that though, right? Oh. Dude, yes, you can set it's it. It's only assisting you to stay on the bike to go up the hills. Okay, now you can assist, so you, it, you can do it and leave it on. But most people just have it assist them so they can stay on the bike. Thirteen grand. Hey, I, nice. I, I hate. Oh, I hate. Oh, I hate to do this. What? Oh, I hate to do this, Papa. What, man? Careful. You, dude, mm, mm, and Careful. we'll call it even after this. You remember when you're stealing all that money from me for four years? But we didn't know. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> sure. I, I want that on the record. Okay. Brian didn't know. Yeah. Remember you stealing all that money? Sure. I hate to go back all the years and recoup that money. Now, no, hold on. No, hold on. All I'm asking. Yeah. Buy me that bike. Hey, <laughs> hey, man. That's not cool. You said it was That's fine. That's a deal for That's me. That's a fucking big chunk of change, dude. I got to make twenty six grand to afford a thirteen thousand dollar bike. Uh, dude, I hate to be shitty. What? If you don't buy me that bike, you hire a lawyer. 
what route you want to go down. Look, I listen, hate man. to do this. To Come this, on, to man. We're partners, right? We're partners. Yeah, we're partners. Give me the bike. <laughs> I, you can't just ask for a $13,000 bike so casually. I'm asking for it. Give Chin your credit card. <laughs> Chin, order it. What? You're not ready yet. You said you're going to get it. That you have to get a little better on the mechanical bike first. They have an XL. Go to XL. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Add to cart. Would you say, Chin, stop doing this, man. <laughs> Give Chin your credit card. No, no. Look Hold at on. the gold chain. No, because with tax, that's got to be at least 15 grand. Oh now gosh. i got to make 30 grand, dude. You want to pay back the money? Hey. Four years? Hey. Let it go. I'm going to for 15 grand. Come on, man. See, I drank last night. Now I'm drinking a little. I'm, I'm becoming You drank alcohol. whiskey last night? Yeah. I don't drink it. I only drink <laughs> in the studio, only here. I used to only drink when I was doing stand up. I broke into the uh, the 23 year old. Did you get your dick out? Mm. God, 23 year old whiskey. I'll tell you what. Now it's 14.9, so we're right on the 15. <laughs> Tax is $1,300. Yeah. yeah, dude, it's crazy. Expensive shit. It's a beautiful now, bike, though. Odds, odds of me getting that bike for the end of the year? I don't know, dude. Because I'm thinking about my brother coming out. He needs a bike. Maybe he can use the stump jumper. I get this. You're looking for helmets. any excuse. Any excuse. I know the problem with you is I know you're going to get it because once it gets oh, in once your it's head, in there, dude, you it's, can't get it out. You, my problem is once it's in there, it will never leave till it's accomplished. Now, here's the thing. You have the fastest car on the road. Correct. And Fastest lap on the Nornberger. It, it, and my guess is you're a little, are you, are you sick of it? Are you bored with it? I can't get enough of it. Now, I do like other flavors. That's I'm always going to keep that car. You'll always keep that car. What I, I admire that about car, that is that is so people should know this. It's literally his his only it's his driving machine. He drives it everywhere. I put four thousand miles on it already. Four thousand miles. Most people that have a car like that, they take it out on Sunday for twenty minutes. I bought it with two hundred miles. You bought it brand new. Two hundred miles. And th that's unbelievable. So you ride it, you and you drive it like it's your I, regular I car. Drive it like Porsche gave to me. With Try and wreck it. And you open it up. Every day. Now this does The crazy thing is you can still sell it for just as much as you bought it for. I'm me. never going to. I'm just going to add to the collection. Now I hate to go back to this. Yeah. You got to buy me that bike. Okay, hold on. We'll get to that in a second. Okay. What other bike, what other car are you thinking about? I want a McLaren 720S in all black. I want a Ferrari Pista. I want a 2001 GT40 Ford. Jesus. Uh, I'd like a Bentley, another you Bentley. you got a lot of cars here <laughs> you like, huh? Oh, yeah. I'll get there. Yeah, that GT40 is what I want. Where's that? In black. I like the red with the yellow stripes, too, but the black's a little more. That's it right there. That thing sounds like a fucking. There it is. 236. Not terrible for that car. That thing's a monster. 236,000. Yes. For that car. See, I should say 236. And you yeah. should know we're talking about thousands. Yeah. If you're in the same, if you're playing the same game as me, now, I say 236. Is that a straightaway car? Is that because you want to have something that you can open up? I just on, want some, it's it's, it's straight stick. road. It's stick, daddy. It's ah. stick. And again, that that's the new one. I don't like the new ones. All the computers and shit. I want the stick. You want the old one. I want the old one bad. Now that movie came out with. Uh, yeah. Did you see it? No. Jay said it's a great movie. I haven't seen it yet. Those are mm -hmm. so sick. American, bro. Yeah, it's amazing how cars do zero for me. It's like a gay man looking at a beautiful woman. Really? Yeah, you just don't... You don't want to suck oh, on the cool. tits? No. You want to suck the tits? No, you want to get in and drive it. You don't even want to eat her ass? For me, I'm like... I'm saying... A lot of gay men can be around a gorgeous naked woman and be like, these shoes look great on you and not notice. Yeah, but a lot of gay men are like, I would eat her ass. And when you see, look at that car, you go, I would drive that. I would drive it but around the dude, track. Uh, uh, like, mm. Dude, you know, I could get you a deal right now on a 911 Targa. Really? You could? Yep. That's interesting. I, they just right? offered it to me. My boy Greg just was like, what do you think of this? <sighs> now it's stick. You're not ready for that. I like stick. Really? Yes, I do. I think a Porsche should be stick. That's what we're talking about? That's the fucking car. Now, is it is it a convertible? It's a Targa, so you can it can be convertible or just the the T top, top. That's a pretty cool car. Oh, dude, and it's in gunmetal. It's it's gunmetal gray. Um, no, hold on, it's 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 uh it's uh like battleship gray. Yeah, I think they call it uh, narco gray. So, uh, how many miles on it? Not many. Hmm. Don't waste my time though, you know. Well, maybe I'll look at it. Maybe I'll test drive it. 
All right. Maybe I'll have a Porsche. We'll set up for you. Yeah. You're not doing anything to buy the buy me the bike though. No. That's a nice looking car. It's it's I've actually always gray. secretly kinda wanted a Porsche like that. That's it right there. They're great cars. Well, some would say the best. Yeah. The best. And hold their value, huh? Oh yeah. It just be my it could be my Go that far right driver. One. Far right one. That's it. That's it? That's the color. That's a beautiful color. Yeah, that's Holy great. Holy shit. It has, it has houndstooth seats. Is that a, what is it, what are houndstooth seats? <laughs> uh, it's like a print. Oh. You know, man, it's too Not much there. to dive into. It's yeah. like me it's like, you know, trying to explain nuclear physics to somebody who doesn't yeah. know shit. Now I'm fifty three in a Porsche. <sighs> what a great time to have a Porsche. Probably, right? Yeah. You had a Tesla. Yeah. Do you have it yesterday? We were by uh uh what's it called? I almost said stock X. X space? Yeah. SpaceX? Yes. Tesla's place? God, that place is nuts. It's nuts. And you can see the tube that he's building. It goes all the way down. I know. It's so cool looking. I know. It's crazy. He's a visionary. You guys were there? Yeah, we yeah. were over there yesterday. Did a little test drive of the tunnel. Don't don't worry why we were over there. <laughs> don't worry about it. Maybe, maybe, you're welcome. Yeah. Your freedom like, chin, you're welcome. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't, don't worry why we were over there. No, On a Sunday? <laughs> what were we doing there? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? We, we were busy. I'll tell you that much. We was busy. <laughs> Tell him Fat Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Pig Productions. God. That's why I should name my company Fat Pig. Fat I bet my dad doesn't even know that story. I like My butter. dad wouldn't even, he, he'd be like, that never happened. Okay. I like Butter Pig. <clears throat> How about Butterscotch Pig? Butterscotch I love pig. Butterscotch. How about Sweet Pig? Sweet, sweet Pig's teeth? good. Sweet, sweet Pig would be a good um, sweet pig for a restaurant. Like a sandwich. That sweet made. Pig? Yeah, Sweet Pig. Sweet pig barbecue, butter pig. Sweet, sweet pig, pig barbecue, butterscotch piggy. Come on, dude. Butterscotch piggy is good. Butterscotch piggy is a good name for a bar, dude. How you want to go to butterscotch piggy? Do you want to go to butterscotch? Butterscotch, but dude, butterscotch piggy off four PSP. Of, come on, dude. What about uh, Thick Boy Bike Club Coffee? Thick Boy Coffee. Yeah, it's a good call. Thick Boy Coffee. We make cold brew. Drink it on the road. There you go. You know what I never, I never do when I'm on that bike going 10 miles? Hot. I never bring water. I yeah. never have water. And then I drink those gel packs. When I pee on the side of the fucking trail, it comes out like Forest. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle gel. Really? My piss is thick. What? And like a, What's in like those a gels? dark green. What's in the gels? Like <sighs> vitamin B and shit? Like vitamins? I don't really know, dude. I just slurp it down. I deep throat that thing and just swallow the gravy. The gravy, of, the, the gravy of energy. Miles. What? How long does it take you to do 10 miles? It took me an hour and change, but it, going up, it takes me, you're going I'd uphill? say 40 minutes of it's me going uphill. Fuck. I have to get off oh, at That's a point. crazy workout. Oh, the best. Wow. I should do it four or five times a week, dude. So that you're you're addicted to going uphill or downhill or the whole thing. Like, what do you everything. like about it? I love everything about it. Just I'm the addicted freedom, to it. The freedom. I love it. There's not. I like being out in nature in the middle of nowhere. The danger of it or what? Everything. Rattlesnakes, mountain lions. I might fall off, die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get lost. The the park ranger made me turn around. He did because I was going down Dirt Mahal and he goes he goes trails closed. I go, well, my house is that way. I came this way. I have to go that way. He goes, not happening. Trails closed. So I'm like, oh god, dude. There's no one around. No one's gonna get corona, you stupid fuck. So I went I went back around, waited, drove. So that's why if you look at the thing, it look I go off and then you have to go back. They open trails back up. Uh, some trails they have in Ventura. Ventura, Ventura County uh, is opening back and the up beaches a lot of too. stuff. Yeah. They're they're releasing a lot of the quarantine. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you remain optimistic. Oh yeah. You're gonna get UFC fights May 9th. Other other counties start opening up. May yeah. 9th UFC fights. Mm-hmm. Ferguson, stacked card. Tony Ferguson? Gaethje. The card's so stacked. May 9th. Where? Do we know? Probably Vegas. Wow. Uh, still no audience though, right? Nope. Mm. <sighs> wow. Dana's first team all thick too. <laughs> He's first team all thick. Yeah. Because Dana used to be 165. No. Swear to God. 165? Swear to God. He He's always had shitty hair. But if you look at him when he's really young, like he's he's my size. He's That's thin. everyone though, isn't it? I used to be your size when I was seven. No, no, when he was like in his thirties. Look Watch. at him there. Look at him there. He was very thin. And then he got a little bit shred city, right? Went to a TRT doctor. There he is. Yeah, that's look he looks awkward on him though, doesn't it? It didn't look real. Yeah. In a way. But... That's the thing. 
Yeah. It just doesn't look natural on them. No. I agree. Do you see when he's young? He's really thin. He's on the front cover of Men's Fitness, just airbrushed as fuck. He had a grill, too. Ooh. Look at the bottom teeth, son. Is that is that Photoshop, though? No, he no, had a real, pretty bad teeth a rough before. rough rack there. We call it a rough rack. Yeah, he talks about being 165. I can't remember where, but I was like, oh, yeah. You know, his frame isn't, you know. He's thick. He, you know, he has a, he, the same body type as Jay. He, now. Him and Jay are built now, exactly Now, but I think that might be from, you know. I don't know, dude. He's never that small. Was he, a, was he, a, did he actually have amateur fights? No. Cardio kickboxing coach. Never had amateur fights. I don't think so. Huh. Nothing on record. Maybe in the gym, see would spar or something like that. Doesn't good looking count. kid. Good looking guy. Lorenzo Fertitta's a good looking guy. Yeah. That's yeah. him right there. The other brother. You know, it's, it's not for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Seem like good guys. You know the Fertitta's pretty well, right? Or you did? They're always great to me. Yeah, I have no yeah. issues with them. You know what? Look at him. Yeah, hopefully that UFC goes on. Look at Sage North. Dude, the bo- yeah, check out those guys. Hey, um, <laughs> the bonus episode with with Will was fun. Yeah, it was. People are digging the bonus episode. People liked it, it, man. We'll have another one this now, Friday. Now, I, this, and Will told me this. He was actually working for CNN when he came on here. <laughs> and I was going to say. Those are facts. Came on with CNN. Yeah. Influence, Just to shame us. And that's fine. Just to shame us. Shame us. Even though we're five feet apart right now. Will's a government <laughs> shill, and it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Will's scared to leave his house. He is the people's he's 400 champ. pounds. The people's champ. People's champ. And, uh, scared to leave his house. And the White Rock. The White Rock. The White Rock. White he's Rock. Got the face. White Rock. <laughs> yep. So, Let's ooh. do some current events. Why don't you eat some more noodles? They were very hot. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take for it to go away? Yeah, I can eat the whole thing, no problem. Oh, oh yeah, do nice. it. I mean, it's no problem. I'm going to have another bite. Yeah, do it, man. And I'm going to have a raspberry. So, a lot of people on the internet are upset about Joe coming out and saying that he's buying corona tests for all of his guests every time they enter the studio to do a podcast. Why? They're upset because they're saying that there are a lot of people who can't get tests done and are suffering while he can just buy it out of his own pocket. So it, it's important for people to realize, number one, it's so much cheaper than people think it is. It's $200. It's $200. That test is like 200 and change. For everybody. So Well, no, for one person. Uh, for him to come, I think it's it's a one-time thing, right? I don't think it costs $200. It costs $200 a test. Okay. It's not what I heard. I heard it was $200 total. Have you they, done the it? Actual, yeah. Me too. So They came to my house. Yeah, but they'll test your family. I think for two hundred? Oh, yes. really? Yeah, I don't know. That's I, what I, I was. was two hundred. So it, might be right. it isn't extravagant. That's a lot of money. Two hundred dollars is a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but it's not extravagant. It's not. Here's Bruce the thing: money. there's a number you can call, and they'll come to anybody's house. Yeah. Not only that, so it's not like Joe Rogan's taking tests away from anybody. Joe's being very, mm-hmm. very responsible. He can afford it, and the reason he can afford it is because he's earned it. Because people love his podcast. It's also called talent. And they and he, he's put it. in ten thousand hours. He's put in way more than that. Joe's been. Doing oh, so are you enjoying his content? Yeah, the the probably twelve hours content he a provides free a week? content he gives you, cool that he gives you for free, cool. Oh, you talking about the biggest show in the world? Yeah, and the guy wants to get tested. Yeah, and you have an issue. And he tests. He, he's very being responsible and tests all his guests. So he's setting an example in that sense. Also, it, te- it's not his fault that not everybody can afford that. No, test. your issues with the government. Your issues with your local, yeah. you know, representatives, not Joe Rogan. Right. And also, anyone who's upset, suck a dick. Right. How about that? Right. There you go. People are also saying that, um, I believe it was the doctor who's administrating these tests for Joe. He came out and said that they're doing the uh, blood work, not the nasal passage yeah, they, one. It, it, yeah, and it's, so, it's the same guy. So yeah. he did all of us. So he pricks your finger like you're taking a you know a blood sugar test if you have diabetes. He pricks your finger. You drop the blood on this little thing. He puts it into this little cartridge. Yeah. And uh, he said that that test actually isn't FDA approved. And so he would, it wouldn't really make sense for people to be angry about Joe taking away testing from other people. Right. Whereas if you go to the hospital, the nasal 
one is actually FDA approved, and that's the one that the hospital would have to administer, not the blood test one. Yeah, that's so sick all the way. How about this? Goes every test Rogan pays for, including the ones that that his guests take. Should he instead use that money to provide for tests to the public, not Joe's? That's not his, that's not his responsibility. It's not his responsibility. It's not his responsibility. So now, hey, imagine being upset by this. Yeah, it's a non-event. It's like I'd assume no one's successful who's upset about this. Just get get it together. Ah, I mean, dude, get, take care of yourself. Yeah. Some people just need something to be upset about. Mm -hmm. That's not what it is. Okay, so rapper Blueface uh, on Saturday, he broke social distancing by having a bunch of women in his house to shoot a music video. And he was updating his IG story with what was going on. And two fights broke out that kept people thoroughly entertained. Strippers. Strippers? Music video girls. Yeah. So Let me see. Oh shit! Oh oh oh! It's going up! 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 It's going up. They seem uh, classy. <laughs> and then one more. Keep going down. Mm -hmm. Wait, Wait what does it take? Can I see that? They were not fighting over me. It was a lot of henny mixed with alley attitude. A little. A little attitude. I have not had relations with any of these women. No one's being racist. More than half the people here was black. So if you believe that you're too invested in the internet, a little too much. People okay. thought that there's racist comments going on? Yeah, there were a lot of different conspiracy theories. We go down. There's, uh, How ridiculous are conspiracy theories? You know what conspiracy theories are? Because the oh. truth isn't fun. Mm -hmm. So conspiracy theories make life way more interesting. Yeah, yeah people doing? came out and they were saying that... Uh, Oh, there was another fight for, with two other women where uh, one woman was talking to Blueface, another yeah, yeah. woman came from behind and snatched her wig Ooh, off. Do we have video of that? Uh, apparently, <laughs> it got taken, taken down. down. Oh, but the that's, than a wig snatch. that's the one that people had conspiracy theory over, saying that the girl who snatched the other woman's wig was being racist, saying you're bald, get this black bitch out of my out of the house or whatever. Sure. And Blueface had to come out and say it had nothing to do with that. Sure. But the girls were getting a little rowdy. Yeah, sounds like it. Cool. Bitches be crazy, dude. Sounds like a... I'm assuming this was in L.A.? Uh, yes. Good. Those are good choices being made and that good examples of being set. It's good to get ahead. Don't go right there. He posted said no. Mm-hmm. Damn. But yeah, wow. people were just thoroughly entertained that Blueface decided to put all of this up on his Instagram. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Well, we're talking about it. Yeah. His name is Blueface, you know? I'm going to have a heart attack, but yeah. <laughs> From the noodles? <laughs> They're hot. It's hard to hit you more. Noodles? Are they hot? No, it's fine. My I'll heart's just palpitating. Them. I'll keep <laughs> eating them, too. <laughs> I'll keep eating them because I can't stop once I start eating oh, hot. Oh, I got it. It's like, it's like Flaming Hot Cheetos. Or like the, yeah, that's exactly oh, what it's like. Them. I like the extra hot ones. Shit's good. Oh yeah, those are the best. Face. I'll stop now though because I can't see very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your nose is red. Yeah, but that's all right. Papa's mouth is red. Yeah. You know it's hot when they start to turn white. Got a case of the old red mouth. Those are good though. Blue face, mm. red mouth, mm -hmm. fat yeah. pig. What else? Do you <laughs> I can handle it though. I'll eat it all. So on Thursday, a man decided to go kayaking, and he ended up getting stuck on a small island off of Jamaica Bay. Wow. And he was only there for twelve hours, but he went to an area that was incredibly isolated and that's the reason why he decided he wanted to go out to kayak he knew that he was supposed to stay inside but that if he wasn't around anyone he thought it was going to be okay for him to go kayaking he got stuck on his way back his kayak actually began to sink he swam back to shore found a lighter and a bunch of sticks and spelled out the word help and set them on fire luckily somebody found it and people actually came to rescue him. I mean, during Corona times, he's really out looking for people. Is that Bigfoot? <laughs> it looks like it. It looks <laughs> like it. That might be infrared camera. That's what it looks like. You can see help. When I clear. used to do a lot of uh, rescue, search and rescue, <laughs> we used infrared ca cameras. Well, well, at least he was saved. Yeah. Yep. There he goes. I'd still rather be at Blueface's party. What else you got? <laughs> Me too. Okay, so this man okay. broke into a restaurant in New Haven, Connecticut, and he stayed there for about four days, just helping himself to whatever he wanted. Sure. Food, wine, beer. Out. Homeless guy. The, well, no. He's not homeless. 
Quentin he is got not- him, dude. He just wanted to feel the vibe of a restaurant. Oh. I can relate to this. <laughs> but uh, the reason why he got caught is because the manager of that restaurant was due to check in every couple of days to make sure the restaurant was okay. It's currently shut down because of COVID-19. And when the manager came in and noticed that somebody has clearly been there, he called the police. I guess the man fled. But they later found him close by to where the restaurant was with a bottle of their uh, wine. And so that's how he got caught. Well, at least his left eye isn't smaller than the right one. That's cool. He uh, sounds like a guy was down on his luck. And no, it sounds like he was about to freak out because quarantine. You do weird shit in quarantine. Just want to feel that restaurant vibe, dude. Feel what it's like I'll break in the scope of right days. now. I'll break in the scope of right now. And just eat. Just live. What else you got? <laughs> He's not um, homeless, though. He just freaked the fuck out. Dude. Yes. Someone sent me this. I don't remember his name, but it's supposed to be the first recorded ever street fight in 1901. It's in color, so this isn't real, though. I mean, they color stuff, you know? Let's see. And this is from a a pretty reputable Instagram account. This is awesome. So I see. Cool kids. I'll tell you right away. It's not the best, though. They always wear the hat, though, you know? It's just so cool to see this. So this guy. (laughs) Keep your hands up, buddy. Dude, it's 1901. (laughs) <laughs> why are people running if this is real that's cool that was fuck. yeah that was it though let me watch that again let me see if mm-hmm. we can sense if this is a fraud they colored it be a weird thing to fake though isn't it it looks pretty well, legit yeah, though, well right? you know fighting North does England. this look like a real fight first of all it looks like a real shitty street fight yeah that looks real yeah neither one can fight that looks about right the other guy just kicks a hat or something. I like the people laughing. Yeah. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. Yeah. This account has Holy like fuck. a million something followers, I think. I don't yeah. think that's true. You don't think it's real? No. I mean, everything else they're posting is real. A million followers. I mean, yeah. a million followers doesn't mean make them real. But I mean, it makes it more legit than yeah, if it had true. like five followers. Yeah. But fuck Jerry has like millions of followers, <laughs> too, so... <laughs> Yeah, who knows? I don't know why they'd fake that. It looks pretty real, man. Yeah. Does it look like a real fight? Yeah. Hmm. Check out that. So that's guy. pretty cool. He's a what is he? Hold on. From India. He's a bodyguard. Look at his eyes. Can you zoom in on his uh-huh. eyes? That dude is intense that as dude's fuck. High. That dude's high. He's a he's a bodyguard. Let's see. A yeah, Nizam buyer serving in the Nizam of Hadar's irregular Sikh. Oh, he's a Sikh. Holds a Honda sword and has left a ball and chain flail whoa god back in the day it was cool right no yeah don't fuck around it's it's a cool everybody smelled like shit though you know well you didn't shower or brush your teeth as much back then well anywho what the else, next yeah. one do you guys remember that band Puddle of Mud what was their famous song damn it was a uh, oh da 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 Okay, we can't play music anymore here, but I'll just show you the song. Oh, that's the other thing. Everybody's like, uh, we're having an issue with iTunes, Apple's iTunes, because everyone goes, oh, why can't I search for Fire in the Kidney where it got taken down? Uh, We were playing music and it got flagged. So when they do that, they pull the thing down Mm -hmm. until you find out the reason. So it should be back up this week. Yeah. Um, iTunes can suck it. I will edit this out. And then edit it out. We're going to have to edit all that out. Yeah, it sucks. We're going to get flagged. All, All right. right. Well, they uh, they recently sang on this puddle of mud. Uh, it says nineteen days you may of lockdown. Not have been practicing. Uh, well, check it out. It's a tribute to uh, Nirvana. If you remember this song. <laughs> Is he having a heart attack? I don't know what's going on. Oh boy. That's his so, version of the I feel song, like his you know? guitarist knows what's going on. Yeah, so yeah, people are obviously saying like something things yeah. have changed. Hey, hey let me see. Hey, let me you know, see I feel like, you know it sounds like chin? it sounds like somebody is sticking the giving like putting their fingers in his butt. Paul of my beat singer puts on an absolute clinic of bad singing. That poor guy. Yeah. Well. Wait, is this Garth Brooks fucking up? No. This is just another another link on it on this website but 
that's that that was a puddle of mud guy the best was garth brooks the whole fucking thing on when he joined facebook that was a, incredible was so cringe i found it late in life <laughs> i found it late i did you what else you got right. yeah um oj simpson joined tiktok all right all right why is he joining these so it's so games? crazy he stays relevant we're talking about him i'll just play this for you i might have to delete this too really because it's a music hmm. interesting yeah He's got to be yeah, bored. He's doing the thing, you know. Can't play golf. <laughs> Can't do anything. How old is All he? Right. 71 or something like that, probably. Time's mm -hmm. a bitch. As he seems like he's got some money. Yeah, something's going on, right? Doing he's got that pension, 72. Hmm. All right. Last one wow. is what you were talking about earlier, Brendan. That documentary. Not this. Michael Jordan's documentary. He said uh, he walked in on a entire team doing a cocaine party and girls when he was a rookie yeah so i'll just play this sure. clip for you i walk in and you got your lines over here you got your weed smokers over here you got your women over here i can't wait to see this looks good <sighs> can't wait some boys doing some cocaine man girls <sighs> cocaine weed yeah chicks all the good stuff is that floyd mayweather's entourage in venice that's what it looks like you think there were any girls involved with the bulls back then <laughs> He's in Venice? That's what it looks it's like. It's a thick bike, too. Uh, I don't... Keep going? Vegas. Mm -hmm. them. Keep going? I think it might be Vegas. No. Um, look at the... God... No. It looks like downtown That'd be Venice. That's Venice. Oh, okay. I don't think so. That's Venice, Where? Dude. On the beach? Yep. Because that's the... Go, go back, Chin. Mm -hmm. Keep going right there. C and J... Or G and J... Although there's no street lights on nah. the boardwalk there. Uh, that's Santi Alley. Oh, that's in downtown. That's close yeah. to um, Skid Row. That's what it looks like, yeah. Looks like the really Chinatown. bad area downtown. Damn, he's just there with no... Uh, no I, what? I was going to say bodyguards, but I'm sure there's people. Bodyguards? Do you not see the giant black man behind him? Holding the mask? <laughs> no, I do. He's also got just a lot of his boys. He definitely has a lot of boys, but still. Also, there's nobody out. That place is... Uh, crazy though is it still crazy yeah you mean skid row yeah they're like mm -hmm. they're almost like real zombies yeah. some of them your brother who who is a brother-in-law who was worked as a social worker and spent a lot of time walking down skid row and helping people and he said even in skid row it's it breaks up into groups like blacks over here latinos over here mm -hmm. like it's it human beings are so tribal even on that level you know it's crazy i knew that you knew that yeah no I didn't know that. Uh, if, oh, Segregated well, like that voluntarily? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. Whites with whites? No, not, whites. A, not a skid row. I, I don't know. I would it's assume they, yeah, they lumped together. Yeah. yeah. Tribes. Mm -hmm. Tribing up? Yep. Tribing up? Well, there he is. Best boxer of all time. Is that it? Saying. That is it. Well, Brendan. Give me your dates, fat pig. <laughs> I'm not anywhere, and I really fucking miss are, it. Unless... You want to open up for me at Spokane, though? I really do. Because they, they the tickets are on sale now. I, I will 100% do that. End of June, Spokane, Washington. Count me in. I know. 100%. You're if you're serious, count me in. I'm, oh, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be your feature. Don't, don't else invite do? anybody else. I'm not. We'll do a two-man show. We can bring, you know, whatever you want. We'll have the, one of them, uh, we'll okay. have them host somebody. Cool. Or maybe I'll bring Chappelle or something. Sure. Whatever you want. Right. I'm I'm excited. Yeah, and we'll go to Coeur d'Alene. That's my spot. We'll, we'll see. Have you gone? I'm going to introduce you. I love Coeur d'Alene. Never been. I have because I went there because you told me oh, I went swimming right. in the lake. Yeah, isn't it great? Yes. So they don't like when we talk about it because they think it's going to blow up. Yeah, I understand. People from Coeur d'Alene get mad when I, I talk understand. about it because it's so great there. It's like, don't fucking beautiful. give it away, man. Well, I'm pretty sure people are gonna look it. it up. You know, it's so nice though. So it's, nice. It's where I want to retire. I got a fucked up haircut there. You did? Yeah. We saw a barber and spoke. And, uh, I'm so psyched. Line. I'm psyched. Get up on stage. Good biking out there, I bet. There is good bike. I hope we'll, we'll start the thick boy bike up there. <laughs> <sighs> well, I want to be part of this. Nope. Let me be a honorary member. Thick boy bike club. You can carry the flag and <gasps> yeah. do this. Hey, guys. No, at the finish line, you wave the flag like this. <laughs> My. And then you get water for the bo thick boys. Really? I Skinny go and, boy, water I go boy. and fetch water? Yeah, you're the water boy. I'm the water boy? I'm thick the water boy, water boy. Do I do it in a pail? No. Nah. I got your water, boys. You cook, 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 Don't make cooler. me cook pies and stuff. Cook, cook, cooler. Don't make me cook pies in an apron. Cook pies? Yeah. 
don't make me be a bad little handlebars and granola bars baby boys your pies are ready hope you don't mind my apron oops forgot to wear anything underneath my little buddy woody is sticking out (laughs) big old thick boys you want the thick boys to dump in you no i would never you guys better not hold me down i'll be so mad what the thick boys? First eat your apple pie. I hope you like it. And if you don't like it, don't punish me for it. Oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you want Sorry I didn't put enough cinnamon on the apples, eh? Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's the Mark Marin podcast. That was... Hey, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, thank God you got me out of my game. I know. Dude, Didn't that, boy, dude, that quarantine. Fucking want the thick boys you. to run some... No, no, no! I just got I got a little you carried away. You the tandem bike on you? Leave, leave some leave some tracks. Huh? I better. Should I polish your guy's spikes? <laughs> I'm out of here, man. Oops, am I a little rattlesnake or what? Oh, <laughs> you know what we do to rattlesnakes? What? <laughs> <laughs> you guys better not. You I'm know what we do to rattlesnakes? We spank their butt. Oops. Daisy, everybody's in spandex. Good news, everybody. Shave down again. Mm-hmm. Covered in mineral oil, so I'm gonna be real slippery. <laughs> Who wants pie, dude? We're not serving pie. Who wants butt pie? How about some energy gel? Ooh, energy. Provide gel. the gel, bro. Uh, here it comes. Provide the gel. Here comes the, boys. the old gel. And it's old. It's old. <laughs> mm, smells like dust. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> this the Vine Kid. We're out. <laughs>